Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another subscriber requested video and I actually had a couple people request this look and it is a purple eyeshadow look. So today we played with all the purple tones and we even incorporated a little bit of purple on the lips. I love the way this look turned out. I actually did a purple look in a way that I've never done a purple look. So it was nice to do a little refresh. I, I play with purple all the time, but it was nice to kind of do a different technique today, use some different textures and play with some different formulas and I really like the way that this turned out. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. Make sure you grab a drink, grab a snack, grab your makeup if you want to do your makeup along with me. And without further ado, let's go and get into it. So I already prepped my skin with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'm just trying to use up this little sample size. And then my favorite Wise Beauty Like a Gloss Hydrating Lip Mask. I love this lip balm so good. So that's what I already have on my skin and we'll go ahead and move on to foundation. And I wanted to revisit Studio Fix Tech. However, the shade is a little dark for me right now. This is NC38, which is my definitely my tan tan summer shade. So I'm going to mix in a bit of Studio Fix Fluid in the shade C40 and kind of see how this combo works. Um, I've never mixed these two together, but they're part of the Studio Fix line. I think this should be fine. I've never had an issue with mixing my MAC foundations. So I'm going to mix these together, create a little concoction, and uh, hopefully this works. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NC38 and just spot conceal some areas. Adding in Studio Fix Tech into Studio Fix Fluid definitely bumped up the coverage of the foundation, so I don't need a ton of extra kind of spot concealing, but I love the way those two look together. All right, and then per usual, I'm gonna let that sit, kind of marinate, and we'll go in with Bright Forecast Prep and Prime Highlighter, BK Beauty, N14. All right, and then I'll go in and blend out the rest of the concealer. Alright, and then for bronzer, my Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Happy Soul. And I'm picking this up with the BK Beauty A507 brush. I'm going to go back in with Studio Fix Concealer, just right here in the inner corner. I'm going to let that sit. And then blend that out with my BK Beauty in 14. And then I'm going to set everything down with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Buff. All right, let's switch things up a bit. I'm gonna go into my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in the Leopard version, and I'm gonna take the bronzer, which is Lustrous Bronze Light, and I'm gonna sweep this pretty liberally across my face. This is a product that I incorporated into my monthly makeup kit, and I really wanna get some use out of it this month, so I'm gonna take a break from my favorite MAC bronzers and just use this one for today. And then I wanna try Omega again. As a contour, I used this in my last video and I loved it. So I'm going to take it on a 109 brush from MAC and just apply this to the backs of my cheeks. Very, very subtle. And we'll take a little bit up right at the hairline. And I also want to take some on my BK Beauty 205 brush. And I'm going to give a little bit of definition to my nose and a little bit under my bottom lip. All right, I'm going to take True Harmony Glow Play Blush. It's going to be my first blush. And this is the Dibs Duo 15 brush, if you're wondering. I always link it in my videos, but I don't think I ever mention what it is. And then I'm going to layer Laura Mercier Chai Powder Blush on top. And then just for a little extra glow, I'm going to go back into that Hourglass palette. And I'm going to take a combination of Dim Light and Celestial Strobe Light. So I'm going to mix those two together. Just hit the tops of the cheeks, a little on the nose. I like to take highlighter on a fluffier brush so it's not too concentrated. All right, and then MAC Fix Plus. All right, so I went ahead and applied 24 hour eye base to my eyes 
And while that sets down, get it, I'm gonna take my MAC Fiber Gel and run that through my brows. So for this look, obviously I was very excited because I love purple eyeshadow. And I have a lot of purple eyeshadows. So I pulled a few things and per usual, like with every look that I do, we'll just kind of figure this out as we go. So I have my custom MAC palette, which has some really pretty purpley colors in here. I also have my Half Magic single eyeshadows, oh gosh, in here. And I thought either Blushing Lizard or, um, oh, what is this called? Pink Robot, this one. I thought those would be pretty, um, just kind of like as an eye topper, so I have that. I also have a MAC Extra Dimension eyeshadow in Stolen Moment, which is a really pretty kind of deeper eggplant, very high shine, reflective eyeshadow. And then I have this. This is really random. This is the Fluorasis Gentle Waves Aqua Glow Highlighter in the shade Aqua, or er, Lilac Haze. And it has a really pretty, um, it's very, very sheer because it is a highlighter, but it has a really pretty purpley lilac iridescence. So I thought that might be pretty to play with. Um, again, I don't know where we're going to go with this look. We're just going to go with the flow, see what feels right in the moment. But I know that I do want to start with a pencil. This is Prunella from MAC. It's a really pretty, um, kind of deep, rich slightly shimmery eggplant but first I want to set my lids down with a little bit of translucent powder so I'm gonna do that real quick all right so now I'm gonna go in with prunella and I'm just gonna run this right along the lash line pretty sloppily just getting the product on there and then we'll blend it out and I'm gonna do this on my lower lash line as well I'm going to leave my waterline open because I do have lighter purple liner from Pacifica that I might use. I don't know yet. We'll kind of decide that at the end. But I'm taking this all the way into the inner corner as well. And then I'm going to take a little smudgy brush. Just buff that in. And I slowly kind of fade it upwards onto my lid. Now we can move on to some eyeshadow, and I think I'm going to go into my MAC palette here. Alright, so I'm going to take this shade, which is the shade that I'm most excited to use. This is the shade Dark Room, and I'm going to use that same small brush that I just used with my liner. And I'm going to pack that right on top of the liner, and then again, kind of flick it upwards onto the lid. So it's nice and soft and having that base layer of um, prunella is making this eyeshadow really pop if you wanted it to be a little more softer you could just apply this directly onto the lid without a liner and it'd be a little bit more subtle I don't play with this color enough I don't want to take the shade. I don't know if this is technically purple. It looks more periwinkle now that I'm looking at it, but I still kind of want to use it. This is the shade Such a Tool. It's a Powder Kiss eyeshadow, and I'm going to take this on a larger fluffy brush and sweep this through my crease, kind of take it all over my lid, and then I'm also going to take that along the lower lash line. I just want to see what this looks like. This is uh, the Pacifica Eye Pencils. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but this is in the shade... I don't see a shade on here. I will try and find it and link it below. Oh, 031 or D31. But I'm going to run this in my waterline. I don't know how I feel about this. I might change this. No, I feel like it needs to be dark, right? Yeah. Don't love that. Alright, I'm going to go over top with Prunella. I might even go in with black. We'll see. Yeah, I feel like that's not showing up dark enough. I'm going to go in with Smolder Eye Coal. Just 
just really smudge that into the waterline. All right, and then I'm gonna take my little small brush, go back into dark room and smudge that into the lashes just to marry all of that together. Oh, I love that. Okay, I kind of want to do black liner on my upper lash line as well. I love this intensity. So I'm going to keep it really tight to the lashes because I still want that purple to show through. But I just want to intensify this, deepen it up. And then take my little small brush again and just smudge that in. That's cool. Oh, except I just got a bunch of liner. Alright, so let's make this a little bit more fun. Let's do Blushing Lizard. Okay. I'm just going to take whatever's on my finger and just start tapping that. And then I also have Pink Robot. I think that's the name of it. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of want to use a little bit of this. Pick a little bit of that up on a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna focus that on my inner corner. Okay, that's cool. Alright, and a little bit right here as well. Alright, and then I want to take Blushing Lizard on my little small brush and I want to pop that all across the lower lash line and make this shimmery. Alright, I like this. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to do mascara off camera and then we'll come back and see if we want to add anything. But I really like this. It's nice and smoky. It's dimensional. We got a lot of different shades of purple going on here. And I think once we apply mascara, it'll all come together. So I'll be right back. One final step I want to do with the eyes is I want to use the Dazzle Shadow uh, Liquid. What is it called? Yeah, Dazzle Shadow Liquid in Diamond Crumbles. It's a really pretty multi-chrome, like, lavender, blue, maybe like little flecks of green. I don't know, it's really, really pretty. But I want to add a little bit of this to my inner corner. Yeah, just for a little extra pop. And I'm also going to add it out here. I'm basically adding it on top of the um, pink robot shade from Half Magic. So I think that's all I want to do on the eyes. We can go and move on to the lip. Alright, I'm going to try and plot out my lip. Let's go in with Mob 1990, M1990. And then I'm going to do Mob's liner in M159, just for definition. I was thinking we could try Plum Dandy. It might be too red, but we'll see. Yeah, that's a little red. However, I was thinking to correct that, I could go in with my Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick in Violet Beta. I think that'll help correct a lot of this red. I'll cool it down a bit. I have this Mob Lip Balm in M155. It was the Jessica Hayes Southern Goth Collection. This would be perfect. Let's try that. On top. All right, I'm gonna go back in with 1990. All right guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed and to the subscribers that requested a purple look, I hope you enjoyed this look and I hope that it satisfied all your purple needs. I love a good purple eye look. I think it just looks so beautiful on all different skin tones, all eye colors, like it's such a flattering color. To wear on the eyes so i was very happy to take this request thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today as always remember i love you god loves you and i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys